Shots out of Trey Benson, man. He's uh, one of my favorite running backs in this class. I think he's actually running back one, and that's because he has one trait that defeats all other traits. It's cool to run faster than everybody else. That's okay. It's cool to be powerful and to, you know, truck guys and all that stuff, man. It's, it's, it's cool, bro. But it's one thing, especially in recent football, that has emerged as the best trait for running backs to have, and that is contact balance. If you can run through the first tackle, okay, and while we watch the film, let's just play a little game of did the first dude tackle Trey Benson, okay? And contact balance is king, and I'll tell you why. Because whether it's the run game or the passing game, first and foremost, I am a yak guy. And the whole idea, the whole concept of yak is, um, you know, something is going to be given to you. And nope. And then based on what you're given, can you make more of that? Okay. So in the run game, your offensive line blocks for you. And can you make the first guy miss? Okay. That's what that is. But then there's yards at the catch. The quarterback throws you the football. The coordinator draws up to play for you. Nope. And then based on that, we throw you the football. Can you give us more? More than that. So if you can make the, the first man miss whether in the run game or the passing game, then you're valuable to me because you're you you're giving me extra. You can turn a three yard run into a seven yard run. You could turn a 10 yard pass into a 15 yard pass, right? And that's with breaking these arm tackles. And where do arm tackles come from? It comes from angles. You know, blocks are coming from different nope. Blocks are coming from from different angles because you know you got Lyman, you got fullbacks, you got tight ends, you got, you know, wide receivers cracking down on you. So if blocking is is coming at you from different angles, that make defenders come at you from different angles. And those angles create arm tackles, okay? And if you're out here trying to get arm tackled or just half went 12, not gonna catch them. Nope. Or, or or just like, you know, trying to to halfway tackle somebody is not gonna work. Trey Benson is not a character that gets halfway tackled. So now we're in this world to where Okay, well, Trey Benson is 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 in your offense. Whatever you get him, nope. Whatever you give him, he can, nope. He could just give you a little bit more, and that's what I love the most about him, right? Like some of these other characters, man, they can pop, they can they can lead the league in you know four yard perfectly blocked runs. That's cool, man. But what make running back special is when when it's 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 garbage around you right and garbage is a is a is a loaded term i don't want to be mean nope Gar garbage is a low and this this run is ridiculous it kind of just it's 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 a bit jumpy but let's just run this back a little bit boom 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 you thought you had me contact balance that's what's so crazy about Trey Yo, Monko. Monko. that's what's so crazy about trey benson man i'm up and and and, and, I, and i'm just as I'm watching him, I'm thinking about my, nope, I'm thinking about my offensive line and their deficiencies, right? So if my offensive line is, is, is five of them, if four of them block well, and maybe there's, you know, one of my guys didn't block the linebacker appropriately. Hey man, that linebacker got a, you got a tackle tray. <laughs> You've got a tackle tray, Benson. You have got to deal with him. And if you miss, hey, good luck to you. That's on you, bro. So, you know, nope. So now I'm at the point to where like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm studying all the running backs, man. And they all do great things. Shots out to him, but if I can summarize it all up in one thing, give me the guy that helps the offensive line. Give me the dude that that not just helps the run game, but if you're the the quarterback and you throwing the football to him, hey man, can we get a little bit of hey yo, that pass block was trash, don't worry about it. But can you give us a little bit extra on the back end? That's what I love about um Trey Benson, okay? I'm just I'm just gonna run a little bit of this um Miami film as I just kind of, you know, talk over him and, and just kind of discuss this this running back class a little bit. Um, it's, it's really gonna, and they started catching them on the first tackle here, but y'all get my point though. Uh, the, the whole idea of the running back class this year is it's a, it's kind of like ice cream thing, right? Who is your favorite? What's your favorite type of ice cream? Do you want the, the, the bigger backs? Do you want the pass catching backs? Do you want a running back that can fit into a tandem or running back that can fit, you know, this, this, this three person, three person committee, this four running back committee, if you're a new England type team, or, you know, do do we have the bell cow guy? And, you know, I just think slowly but surely, man, you look at the Saquons of the world and what the Zeke used to be's of the world, right? I just think the idea of bell cow running back is just kind of going away a little bit. So what you have to do is, is you have to find running backs that can be compliments of someone else. But if you do stumble upon what you would call a, a bell cow running back, those dudes don't have to go third overall anymore. Those dudes can just be dudes like, Hey man, like Brees Hall went second round. Kenneth Walker went second round or whatnot. Right. So I honestly listen to some of these pundits and they feel like, well, the running back class this year is not as good. I call nonsense on that, bro. 
I call nonsense on that because you can you can you can tell me that this running back class doesn't have a B. John Robinson. That's cool. But if you look at Trey or Jonathan Brooks, nope. If you look at Trey or Jonathan Brooks, or you know, if you look at the the bigger guys, Braylon Allen, uh, just 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 pick a guy, Bucky Irvin, who, whoever, whatever running back you like. This class is way better than than what you would think it is. This these these people will have you thinking that it's that running back class from like six years ago where the first running back that came off the board was like, was like Bishop Sankey or something, you know, this ain't that class, bro. This is, this is not that, that group of runners. I think this runner, this running back group got, got, got stars in it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to pick the right running back. And of course that running back has to end up with the right team. I mean, that's, that's, that's what matters most scheme is King. Um, but in terms of complete runners, Trey Benson, he, he's, he's, he's one of them, man. He's not the best blocker in the world, but he has upside. Nope. Look at this. Look, look at this, man. Look at the man. Offensive line leading them astray. <laughs> 58 was about to kill him. 81s was was about to kill him man yeah it's 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 just like the ultimate assist the ultimate assist anyway like i was saying um trey benson has the upside to be a better blocker and 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 one of the common themes that i've been talking about um i've been mostly saying like in the in the um in the uh lineman realm right i just been talking about o-line really heavy this year uh because there's so many of them but what i've been saying is that if you win ugly then it's my coach's job to teach you how to win pretty. That just means that it's upside. You know, you can come out here and, and win funny looking, but if you win funny looking, then that means you're winning. But the funny looking means that you're just kind of raw. So Trey Benson is a, he's an incredible runner, but he does have some funny looking, you know, traits about him, like his, his blocking and even his receiving and like some of his, some of his vision too. I think he has really good vision, but sometimes it gets a little weird and a little wonky, but I think he's a, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a player that you can continue to develop while he's whooping ass right now. And that's what's so fun about Trey Benson. You can develop him while he's whooping ass right this second. So, you know, he's a guy that you can put out there day one. He can start, he can play for you. And as he's playing, all right, now, you know, year three, Trey Benson, like he's, he's, a, he's a dude now, but year three, but year three, Trey Benson is ridiculous. You know, he, uh, he had the ACL injury like two years ago or something like that, but he's been healthy since the ACL surgery. So, you know, you know, shout out to my guy, Will Steel. surgery worked, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't have, we don't have any issues here. I think he's far enough removed from it to where it's not bothering him like that anymore. But boy, if I just had to pick a dude, big play Trey Benson, but if I just had to pick a dude, that's, uh, you know, that. That, that just kind of you know summarizes what I like about running backs and where I think the running back market is today and you know what we should be looking for is this guy right here and I and I just wanted to give a little extra uh commentary on him you know most you know some of these other you know films they were they're a little shorter but when I really, really like a player, I started to break down storylines and I started to break down traits and common opponents and what I really like about him. I did it with our Marius Mims because he's one of my favorite players. Trey Benson is one of my favorite players. And I know I do film for everybody, but but if he ends up on, 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 on my team, if he ends up on my team, I'm going to jail. All right. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. If y'all want to see some more film, go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Vosh Lombardi. And uh, we're still doing requests over there, but get there before the NFL Illuminati get there. All right. Y'all be cool, man. Peace.